butterflies they try to reach the sun gentle dreams they fade and die time cripples everyone ABC it's Ron thanks for stopping by alright what is up for today well, I went into my collection, I looked through all my 60s promos, albums that have actual promo labels, and I picked out the 12 best ones. So, I thought about ranking them by likability, and I thought, nah, I don't really like to do that. So I just went on Discogs, and I looked up each album, and I'm ranking them by value. So I went by the highest price paid, for that particular album. So we'll be looking at that in a minute. What's on the turntable? Well, The Rainy Days and their album That Acapulco Gold, 1967. Now if you don't know this album, it is not a psych album. It has two fine psych tracks on it, but it's mainly garagey rock with R&B and soul. Uh, blended in. Um, it didn't make the cut for my list, but I thought I would spit it and give it a sample. This is a yellow label mono promo copy. Okay, number one. Candelo. Phase one. It came out in November of 68, as far as I can tell. Now, I'm biased over this album because this guy is from my hometown. And it was actually recorded about five miles from where I'm sitting right now. So, yeah, it's weird that the catalog number kind of indicates that it was issued in 1966. Um, but I have my doubts. Uh, it might have been slated for release in '66. I don't. I don't. I don't really know, really know what's going on with this. Um, I went in and I looked through uh, the Scepter Records catalog, and uh, I noticed some other discrepancies where albums were released much later than their catalog number indicates. So it's weird. I doubt if it was released in '66 because. It has some phasing on it, and that really didn't kick in until 68. So, yeah, good album, good pop psych album, pretty solid. And uh, it features William Spooner on guitar, uh, also known as Bill Spooner. He would go on to join the tubes. And it, it, on drums, it features a guy, Dennis Kenmore, and he would go on to join Pollution. Recording engineer is Dave Oxman. He was a local guy that uh, worked here in Phoenix at Audio Recorders. Uh, so that's a pretty good indicator that this album was recorded here in Phoenix. So very, very cool. Uh, issued, uh, reissued by Sundays about 10 years ago. Okay, number two. It's West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band Volume 2. This is a nice white label mono copy. It's got a dedicated mono mix. It has a nice full sound. And uh, I really enjoy the mono mix. Stereo is fine too, because it is a psych record, but uh, it does have a nice fuller sound in mono. Okay, this next one is uh, Bruce Palmer. And uh, the name of the album is The Cycle is Complete. Uh, 1970 album. This is sort of prog, in, or psych into prog. And uh, it's mainly instrumental. It has a little bit of vocal. Um, good album. And it came out on the Ver Forecast label, and this is a white label. Uh, Stereo copy. I actually bought this at a toy show in Tucson. I went down there and this guy was selling a little box of, had like a little box of albums, you know, for sale. And uh, this was in there. I think I paid about 10 bucks for this. So 
Cool. This is a hard album to find out in the wild. It really is. Okay, this next one is The Birds, Fifth Dimension. And this is a mono white label promo copy. Uh, you all know this album and how important it is. Uh, very, very uh, early psych material on this. And um, probably the first Columbia album to feature any real psychedelia on it. And here's the album. Really cool white label, Columbia label. And uh, this is the bag. This is how the, they came um, at this time period in 66. Now in the early 60s, Columbia used company sleeves that were paper. And then I think around 65 maybe, they went to these bags. So it had a, a zip at the top where you would peel it off. And uh, so, yeah, pretty cool. All right, the next one is Brother Fox and the Tar Baby, 1969. This is on a very small label, Oracle Records. These guys were out of the Boston area. And this is a this is a fine album, solid. It's a, it's a very interesting album because they dabble in all kinds of different styles, but it does it does definitely have a hippie psych rock overtone to it. And uh, here's the label. It is a white label stereo copy. Now, um, the guys at Capitol Records were off, obviously pretty impressed with this record because they picked it up. And it came out on Capitol later on and got you know better distribution than uh, the original did. So, interesting fact about this. There's a guy on here and he played keyboard, and his name was Joe Santangelo. And that's Robin Boston's cousin. And there he is, right here at the end. And you can, you can see some family resemblance between the two, you definitely can. So yeah, good album. Now this next one I was lucky enough to find in the Goodwill a long time ago. Nice clean copy. And these are really hard to find out in the wild. And it's Ivory. This is their only album. These guys were from uh, the West Coast, uh, LA area. And uh, it's typical hippie uh, male female rock. Um, you know, it's got that Jefferson Airplane vibe and all that. You know, a lot of those bands did at that time. Um, this is a really good solid album, but it's nothing real outstanding. Like the female singer, you know, she's, she's really good, but she sounds like a lot of other women from, from other bands, you know. But um, this is good. And it's on a white tetragrammaton label. Stereo. So that was a nice score. Picked that up for a buck. Okay, this next one is Banshee. This is their first album from 1969. Um, this is a mixture of psych and uh, heavy rock. And I prefer it much more than their second album, which is just more hard rock. And um, so that this one's on uh, Atlantic, and the other one came out on Polydor. So there's the label, stereo, white label promo. Really good album. These guys for, were from East, the East Coast, but I don't know exactly where. Uh, this next one, first album by Eden's Children. This is a white label promo mono copy, 1968. This is just packed full of garagey, fuzzed out rock. Really good stuff. Power Trio. 
white label, ABC label. Um, so yeah, good one. Check it out if you don't know it. Okay, this next one is The Grateful Dead from 1969. And I can't for the life of me remember where I got this from. You know, some, a, lot of, a lot of my albums I can remember where I got them and kind of what I paid for them. I'm, I'm totally blank on this. I, I'm pretty sure I got it in the wild, but I just don't remember where or when. But uh, there's the label. Nice clean copy. Yeah, this has got a weird label or a weird, or weird title that I'm not even going to, you know, try and pronounce. Uh, A-O-X-O-M-O-X-O-A. <laughs> yeah, I think that dad was just messing with people with that one. Yeah, great album. All right, this next one is uh, come out in 1968. It's uh, West Coast Psych Rock. They, they were uh, among the originators of, of mixing electronic sound effects into their music. And uh, it's 50 Foot Hose Cauldron. And uh, this is a really good album. And it is on the Limelight label. And this is a yellow label mono promo. So very, very cool. And the next one is the first album by Ultimate Spinach. I'm sure a lot of you know this one. Awesome Boss Town Sound LP, 1968. And this is a white label mono promo with a dedicated mono mix. This is quite different. Well, you know, it's a little different from compared to the stereo. So very cool. Oh, let me show you inside. You've probably seen it, but I'll show it. All right, the last one is the first album by Love, and this is a mono copy. And there's a white label promo. This is a really clean, not much in the way of scuff, uh, scratches, but it does have some light paper scuffing here and there on, on both sides, but it's minimal. And uh, covers, not too bad. It's got some damage here at the top. Uh, on the back, it's got record department, rubber stamped right here, which is probably was done at the radio station, uh, meaning to keep the album inside the record department. Um, yeah, these, I was shocked when I got on Discogs and looked at the, the high, high dollar mark on this one. 600 bucks, but that was probably meant. But um, yeah, yeah, uh, awesome, awesome album. I love it in mono. I got this probably, well, I got it during the lifetime of my channel, so, and I, I got it for like $25, so yeah, pretty amazing. Okay, that's good. That does it. That's the 12 that I pulled out. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do something a little bit different just to get a video up. I'm trying to do more videos, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, till next time, everybody take care, and I'll see you guys in the future. Later.